So his deficit is 23 pounds, 9 ounces. Vincent's caught 23 pounds, 4 ounces total. Good one. Well, there's a bunch of them with him, too. Golly. That does look mm, like a good one. Damn it, tree. No. Another one just tried to take it out of his mouth right there. Come up. That was so cool. Chad, that might be Thor's Ooh, hammer right, right there. <laughs> I think you're right, JT. One pound, nine ounces. The knockout blow's coming, Marty. <laughs> yes. Okay. And he That's said there good. was a lot more right there that he could see. Like this one. He just caught the hammer. Let's see if he can catch some nails to go along with it. Let's put this show away right here. One pound, three ounces. Tick, clock, tick. Yeah, I'm feeling it a little bit, I promise you. Who wouldn't if you're gonna chance to win three hundred thousand? Ah, oh, man, my forearms are like cramping. I'm trying to reel them in. Can I say them on the floor? Yes, sir. He's hooked down like that. Okay. We're watching the explanation point being put on I'm one of the most hours. historical seasons we've ever seen in the sport of bass fishing. Did you see the yard sale going on in the bottom of his boat right now, though? It looks like the clearance aisle at Bass Pro. Yeah, but the price just went up because it's in the bottom of his boat. I'd like to be running the cash register on that. That's exactly what Edwin's doing right now. He's dinging the cash register. $193,000 is what he won on the tour this year. Not counting the cups yet that he's going to fish. 300000 It's a half a million dollar season just from the tour before the cup events. And not one dime of an entry fee. Guys, he's just adding insult to injury now. And the thing is, none of these anglers have got this update because his official don't have time enough to input everything. When they finally get slow it's down and give the rest of them the input of what's happened here, the, the sales will have fallen. He just let the air out of it. $1,000 all day long. It's funny, too, because we're looking at the anglers here at the Midway. They're all glued into the big screen now. And they're like, oh, yeah, here comes the death blow that they've seen all year long. Wow. One pound, four ounces. Wow. From start to finish, thorough domination. He let them get close. He teased them. Pound. You think his arms are getting tired yet? I think he said it a minute ago. His forearms were getting tired. One pound, three ounces. His official's getting tired. His official hadn't had a chance to put any of the input any of these yet on the score tracker. I can't wait to hear the first update in Hackney or Vincent's or the rest of the field's boat. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Oh, we made a cast and didn't catch one. Oh! 
he bit my tail off. What happened? A little power swimmer. Good night. Let's throw that chartreuse on in there. Oh. How we doing? Where are we at in standards? <laughs> you ain't got caught up yet, have you? I don't plan on letting you get caught up. That's all right. No, you're not. They're still up there schooling. Golly. Come on, baby. What's not getting tired is that school of fish. Get the belly on that one. Just a whole new group of fish. There's no hook marks in any of them. Ah, my arms are cramping. One pound, eight ounces. The belly. <laughs> Got a Don Rooks belly. Or an old Don Rooks belly. <laughs> you Don to bring this thing together. Talking about our commander in chief, Mr. Rooks. Jeez. I was sitting on them this morning. All those fish are exactly where my boat was. You know, it was too far in. There's an old beaver dam right there at that, uh, right at that dock. That's the one I had to blow out one time trying to get in here. And it's just crazy. I should have won in here, I'm telling you, a few years one back. One pound, six ounces. And I was so mad at myself for not winning. And they were big ones, like fish that people don't witness on this river. And then we come in here today catch all kinds of fish, like a nursery, but we don't catch the big ones. We catch one, so take it what I can get. Jim, what's, what's the total on paper? 5711. 5711. Yes, sir. Tell him, tell him what he's got. So this is a run of about 11 pounds oh. during this stretch. A little more. He's yeah. got another one. Yeah. Let me correct myself. Wait a second. <laughs> Before you do any math, Chad, why don't we just let Edwin finish up whatever <laughs> he's going to do it. here? You got it. Took the wind out of you got it. We got an hour and ten minutes. left to go. We just might they, sit here and watch an hour and ten minutes of reeling them in. Oh, we finally got to slow him down. Oh. Shame on that fish. We want to watch more catching. Right. I need a break. <laughs> no, he needs a break. I need a break. Six ounces. I need a break. He literally said, for the first time in Edwin Evers' career, thank like God for a penalty. <laughs> I don't know how we can. They better start catching him. See if that school calmed down. Sometimes when you let them sit like that, when you got them fired up, you know, sometimes they'll just get to the point where they're not biting well, this ain't, this ain't However, that's well. not what's going to happen to this school, <laughs> apparently. You remember how I said earlier he was at the far end and when he gets back to this lower end where he come in at? Now, I didn't think this was going to happen, but I definitely thought the lower end was better. He had to roll over that on the big motor to get in there. One pound, eight ounces. Well, JT, you said all day someone was going to land and find a little wad of them. <laughs> I guess it was Edwin, Marty. If it were anyone but him, we'd have a contest. Are they all just sitting down there in a line, just waiting on their turn to bite his bait? My turn. No, my turn. <laughs> One pound, five ounces. To get into this area, he had to run the big motor over top of him and sit down right there. Marty, I think when there's that many of them, you could have landed a 747 <laughs> right there and it wouldn't matter. Talk about witnessing Ooh. history with the inaugural Red Crest. We might be witnessing history in the most consecutive bass caught. It's an historic run in an One historic pound, year. Eight ounces. At some point in time, he's got a sign for one of these. 
I don't think so. He's in when he was. Yeah, we just, it's, it's good. <laughs> we now. got it all on film. It's all on film. We'll just get. We'll just give him the wow. trophy. As a matter of fact, can anybody just take the trophy in a boat and just take it out there to him now? Get Lurch out there. Edwin, you can stop casting. Here's the trophy. Just take it. <laughs> they all give. We get your they point, man. <laughs> white towels and white I'm flags. Just gonna keep catching them. That's the plan. One pound, three ounces. Here, here's what I've always said about this format. If you've got limits, if you've got limits here of any sort, you don't showcase greatness because we have no limits. We're getting to see how great he really is today. I am sweating. I imagine. One pound, nine ounces. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, drink it in because you are witnessing greatness. I've always said this format is brutally honest and this is showing a brutally honest, great moment in this sport. <laughs> One pound, eight ounces. Is there enough water up there for all these fish to actually be in? I don't know. <laughs> this is ridiculous, official. but I'm loving it. He's almost filled up the whole sheet. <laughs> Do we have a spare pen for the boat official to write down all these? It's going to be out of ink. I cannot wait to when he enters them all in and every all the other anglers finally get the update. <laughs> Take it off. Must be that. Okay. Scales I hope we are broken. Off. Scales are worn out. <laughs> they're, they're worn out. Thanks, get the sir. spare set. Yes, 14 ounces, non scoreable. Check him again. <sighs> ah, just throw in here and catch another one. I hope we have the volume off when everything is updated because I bet from the other anglers there may be an <laughs> expletive or two. Pulling them against that current. Oh, yeah. They're getting bigger. Two pounds, two ounces. <laughs> <laughs> no more teeth gritting today. Throwing. Uh, right now, I'm just throwing a little vibrating jig. Uh, same, same one I was throwing at Conroe. Get the sweat off his hands to keep a hold of the reel. My hands are cramping up. <laughs> Gosh, dang it! So much current going out of here. One pound, ten ounces. He's getting a drink of water. He better be careful. There might be a bass in that water bottle for all the fish he's around. <laughs> guys, I've been on the water with these guys since 011. I've never witnessed anything like this, ever. Two sheets and too much. Edwin Evers running away with the first ever Red Crest title. We'll get you updated when we come back to lacrosse.
Hockey, and we welcome Chris Lane to the set here. Have you ever seen a run like this in a competition like this? Unbelievable. That's the ball game right there, oh. watching what oh, yeah. Edwin Evers is doing and the amount of fish that he's catching every single cast. I don't think anybody can catch him because even if another angler gets on that stretch, Edwin is still rolling full speed ahead. The, given the kind of season that he has had, it's kind of fitting that it's him finishing this thing out and closing the deal, isn't it? What a bang. Yeah. I mean, oh. what a phenomenal year for Edwin Evers from points champion all the way to what looks like is going to be Red Crest champion. Edwin Evers has done it all this oh, year. Oh, throw in a little win in Conroe. Oh, just yeah, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> just, just a little bit of Bass Pro Tour win. <laughs> and we don't know how many he caught during the break. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell, <laughs> literally. I, we don't even know. So let's let's keep it in mind. Score Tracker was at 36 scorable bass for Edwin. He's flipped over a page of his score sheet. Those hold 50 fish catches on them. So roughly 18 to 20 that he's going to add to score tracker in this I'm like push. JT when they give that announcement to the other anglers there's going to be do what moment yeah Chris there's some of them sitting out there thinking oh Edwin's kind of stuck in the water right now when they get the <laughs> update from all this what's going to go through their heads I don't know that they're going to get the update the problem right now is Edwin is catching them every cast so there, there's no way that there is enough time left in this event for that computer or for the official to put all of those in. That mm -hmm. takes a second to put one pound, five ounces, three pounds, two ounces. He's got 20 of those to go through. <laughs> There's not enough time left in the event. Yeah, we so, I don't know. All. Maybe maybe they could get the update from That's the camera the guy. You never know. Yeah. You just don't have the accurate weight. Mm -hmm. At the best mm -hmm. I could do, as we were just looking at the feed right yep. there, the best I could tell by looking at the sheet was it looked to me like 61 this might be 62 i don't know i'm not saying that's official by any means that was just me counting what we, we know could see anything on there. you say can't be official well exactly okay. oh yeah but chad, you're the best you we got at this point <laughs> <laughs> well i feel bad for everybody chad at that point <laughs> so if if you're close to accurate we're, we're talking a run of 25 right here chris uh, really yeah know. absolutely so i'm thinking that it's probably a good idea that these anglers are not going to get that update <laughs> yeah. because it might just throw the towel in right there. So. You hear Mike Iaconelli always talk about never give up. When he gets this update, this might be the one time where he finally says, all right, I give up. You think he'll scream it? <laughs> yeah. Instead of screaming, never give up, you think he'll just I scream, give, give up! up! <laughs> We've gone to a backup. Score trackers got smoke coming out of it. Edwin's exhausted. And we've all enjoyed it. I have never seen an angler hands cramp from catching so many fish. That is the first for me with Edwin Evers today. That was that was unbelievable. That's what you call a good fishing day. Randy Howell was up here with us about an hour ago, and he was talking about the element of this to... is no practice. These guys could not come to Pool 7, but Edwin Evers has had success and knows so many little spots up and down the Mississippi River here. Yeah, absolutely. And when you have success like Edwin's having, the no practice is, it's amazing because it is throwing the 10 best anglers right now in Redcrest on the Mississippi, and they are using What's everything. What's Can somebody tell me what does it actually read right now? It doesn't actually read right now because I've still got about 15 fish left to put in. <laughs> I'm just saying, what is it at right now, though? Too much to not uh, enough. And he's still I'll catching. I'll tell you in a minute. So there have been seven inputted now into Score Tracker in this run. He's at 43. Nope. It just went to nothing. All right, you work on the scale. He's broken the scale. <laughs> Got a scale malfunction. Look at that. He, he just went ahead and let that up. one go. <laughs> just didn't even weigh it. Like, whatever. It's fine. Scale. He locked her up. She won't do anything. You're exactly right. I'm glad you're here, man. Literally broke the scale. Got hot. <laughs> but I don't think that fish would have been. At the rate Edwin's going, he just drop his worm over the side of the boat. He'll catch it again. <laughs> I won. I don't know what else to say, but man, we won, babe. I love you. Kylie, Kate, I love you guys. This is for you guys, and uh, I can't wait to get back home and share it with you.
pretty exciting. Jim, just congratulations, buddy. Thanks for being my boat official. It's it's an honor to be in the boat for me to be. Honor, Mark. Thank you for being the cameraman. Marty, JT, Chad. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for covering it today. I know you guys wanted more drama. I didn't. I had enough drama this week. 